Story explanation for story skipping for new players and veteran players that is making an alt. It is currently bug, so I'm making a video both to bug report and explain it to everyone so you do not run into the same problems I did on my alt that I'm standing on here. Um, I will do a TLDR real quick and then I'll explain um, the whole skip mechanic in more detail afterwards. So for the people that just want to know how to skip, you can watch the first two minutes and or one minute that's going to be a quick TLDR. So let me open my browser here. As you can see here, I was trying to do the skip. I go to terminal to story and here where you see domain 9, there's supposed to be an accept button, which is not here. This is the problem. This is the bug. The overlay does not appear. And you can see me, I am super confused. I go to high cross, I try going to the viewer portal, I try talking to the NPC, see if I can make it appear, and it does not appear. I get one last try before I give up. Here, let me show you. Here, I click my quest lock, right here. I click my quest lock to make it appear. Right? Make it appear, click on the Vero storyline quest. You have to do this. Click on the Vero storyline quest, TP to it, whatever quest you're on in Vero. And just stand still where it TPs you to. Then you're gonna open the terminal, go to story, and now the overlay appears. The overlay will only appear if you're TPing to the spot here that your story quest uh, is on. Then you go to start it and now you see the accept button on domain 9. You accept it and now you can skip to domain 9 and do Vera later. It gives you a prompt and you see in progress. So this is currently the only way to skip story is to TP to your Vera quest line. If you're anywhere else on the map, the OLA won't appear. And that's the issue. Now. Let's talk about why we have a story skip and why you may or may not do the story skip. For the new players, veteran players, you, you can end the video here. You already got the TLDR, you're fine. So, Vera, oh, I mean Esperia, you start on the starter island. Once you are done, this is basically Tutorial Island Astra. Once you're done with Tutorial Island, it will take you to High Crows and it will take you to Vera. Now you have to do the first day on Vera. What does that mean? Well, it means you do the Vera story quest until, m minor spoiler, it's not really a spoiler, until you sleep in your bed in Vera. Once you have slept in your bed in Vera, you do not need to do any more Vera story quests. But you are required to do the quest in Vera up to that point where you sleep on the first day. Otherwise you will not unlock Bygone, you will not unlock Frontier Class, you will not unlock Join Ups, you will not unlock any of that. It will all be locked. The only way to unlock it is doing the first day in Vera. Once you have done that, you can Go back to Asperia and do Asperia storyline. And then once you reach level 43, you can skip to domain 9. So, why would you want to skip Asperia? Well, Asperia is locked behind a level cap. Every zone has radiation due to Omnium. And if you are, don't have the required level cap, you cannot do that story part. So... The only way to get that level cap is either grind daily bounties and vitality or do Vera story. There is one other way, is spamming frontier class normal on auto. If you are that bored and you want to level that way and enjoy the story, you can do that. 
and you can just do frontier class normal i will show the new players how to do it you go to the sword you go to challenge you go to frontier class you go on normal you go here and you go match and that's all you do and above your food is gonna be an auto uh, button and you just go afk it's really boring but it's the fastest way to level okay that's what you're gonna do to level if you want to do the story in chrono knock uh, if you want to do the story in order basically then you just don't do vera do a sparrier and then do that um, why would you want to skip to domain 9 well domain 9 has a lot of weekly stuff that you want to do for upgrading certain things I will not go into detail what these things are. If you do want to know, you can watch a 3.0 update, either from Gadio or I can make one to explain 3.0, or you can figure it out yourself if you want. But 3.0 does have a lot of weekly stuff. Um, you do not need to do the entire storyline, but you do need to do the first part of the storyline. Keep in mind, the first part of the Domain 9 storyline is gonna give a full recap of Asperia and Vera kinda it's gonna give like a mini recap of it all so you are gonna get spoiled if you do domain 9 so that's up to you if you wanna skip to do the weekly stuff in domain 9 or not otherwise you can just do Asperia into Vera into domain 9 personally I wouldn't do that but if you wanna enjoy the story you can personally I would probably find a YouTube video and watch the entire story there in my opinion but you do you that's just my opinion so yeah Asperia is just it's really bad compared to the new and even Vera isn't as good as domain 9 is and a lot of new players want to experience the new content so they provided this skip future I do not think that it should also skip you to Vera I think that's a bad part of the skip but that's another topic in itself and I do agree that it's very confusing for new players especially with this skip buff in here that it doesn't appear it's it's very bad see I can't accept Vera right now I can't accept Vera anymore because I have to go to the crest um, if I go to memories I only have Viren right so I have to go to my crest here and then click the Vera storyline for it. And that's the only way to do it. Um, yeah, that's the entire video. I really hope this helped new players and veterans. Not experiencing the shit I had to. Because it was awful. Take care.